750 days without alcohol. I stopped drinking alcohol because I realized I was losing more than I was gaining. Have you ever woken up on a Saturday feeling completely drained? Your social battery is depleted, your head aches, and there's a lingering sense of regret. You had a good time the night before, but now you're unsure if you said or did something you will regret. You're so tired that all your Saturday plans are canceled. This has been your routine since you were 16, and it feels normal. You can't even imagine waking up energized on a weekend anymore. I realized that if I wanted to achieve more in life, I needed to reclaim my weekends. All the time I have lost recovering from drinking, I could actually use it for something more productive. Maybe you're also wasting your time and not achieving your full potential. Stay to the end of this video to learn how I did it. Seven years ago, I decided I would not drink every weekend and that alcohol was not mandatory anymore to socialize with friends and people. As a result, I started to lose interest in many of my usual social activities. Clubs felt boring, bars were too noisy, and night outs became shorter. But I felt more energized, I was stronger at the gym, and my mental health improved. Five years ago, I come to only a few drinks per year, and that's when I really got my weekends back. I had more energy, I could run faster, my skin looked better, my brain worked better, and I spent time with people I genuinely like, doing things I actually wanted to do. Alcohol, I had been masking how boring some activities really were. Even when I drank just one beer, I felt awful the next day with a lot of headaches and my mental health feeling a little bit depressed and sad. It was just social pressure or someone else feeling uncomfortable if I wasn't drinking with them. But here's the thing, no one should influence you to drink if you don't want to do it. Two years ago, I decided to go fully sober. I didn't miss alcohol at all. My body felt amazing. I looked better and my stamina improved dramatically. Some relationships ended because certain people couldn't handle that I didn't drink anymore, but other friends were incredible supporting and accommodating. Alcohol is the only drug you need to justify not consuming. Immediately, people will think there is something bad with you if you don't want to drink alcohol. Contrary to what most people believe, I didn't quit drinking because of any big event or any health care. I was not an alcoholic and alcohol was not causing a big problem in my life. Rather, it was a logical choice to improve my quality of life. I wanted to reclaim my weekends, to reclaim my mornings, to feel more energized, to feel healthier, to feel stronger, and to just have a better mental health in general. There were so many unexpected benefits that I want to share with you today because maybe they can also change and improve your life. If you think about quitting alcohol but find it hard, let's first discuss the reasons why people drink in the first place. The most common excuse is to be less shy and socialize with the opposite sex. When I stopped drinking, I became far more confident. You become more attractive, not just because you lose weight or your skin clears up, but because you're no longer just another generic drunk guy or girl at the party. People find that intimidating, but also very attractive. Drinkers will actually respect your discipline because a lot of them, very deep inside, 
also don't want to drink, but they just fell to the social pressure or they just feel too anxious to socialize without alcohol, which is actually very sad. It is crazy how it is normalizing our society that in many social circles, if you're the person that is not drinking and you're the sober person, you actually stand out from the crowd. Second reason is that you miss the flavor. Okay, I can accept there's maybe some drinks, some cocktails that are quite tasty and you may like the flavor. You can still get an alcohol-free drink for that. And if I put it in perspective, do you really want to trade just a few seconds of pleasure for maybe 48 hours recovering from a hangover, you know, weeks of fitness development, or even years of your life because of all the effects it does to your health? Another reason is life won't be fun anymore and everyone else is doing it. The FOMO effect. I went to college as well. Well, most of the life revolve around parties and drinking. I get it. Alcohol can be fun. At a certain age, it feels like your whole life is centered around drinking. I also had a lot of fun and crazy nights and a lot of fun stories that started with alcohol. But here's the catch. And this you realize once you get sober is that you can still have all these crazy and fun nights without alcohol. Also without doing stupid things that you don't want to do because you're drunk. And also without all the side effects that are caused by drinking. What will I drink when I go out? Very simple. You can still go out and drink alcohol-free drinks or even mocktails or maybe just stick to water. You don't need alcohol to enjoy the night, believe me. And if you do, maybe this is the place you should not be there. If you cannot enjoy a place without alcohol, you cannot enjoy a certain group of people without alcohol, maybe you should realize that you don't want to be there. This is not for you. And this is one of the biggest realizations. Once you stay sober, you will only enjoy and do the things that you actually enjoy doing it. Maybe it sounds crazy for many people, but many of the activities will just be more boring. I'm not anti-alcohol. You don't have to quit it completely. Maybe you can just cut it to a few drinks a year. But once you give it a try and you stop drinking for long periods of time, you will realize and enjoy all the benefits of quitting alcohol. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I hope you like it. And thank you. Ciao, ciao.